Brian? Oh, hi, guys. Brian, everyone's been looking for you. What are you doing down here? Oh, this is where I live now. Brian, you have shows to do. Oh, I'm done with comic book issues. I'm going to spend the rest of my life down here now. Just me and the centipedes. This is about the DC reboot, isn't it? No, no, not true, not true. Brian! <laughs> yes, it's true, it's true! I'm too old to start over! Let me Kara review the DC universe. He is. Bastard! Oh, I, I mean good. <laughs> Brian, the people need you and your mightily amusing, but yet surprisingly informative reviews now more than ever. They need to know if Superman has been one more date. They need to know if Wonder Woman is wearing pants. Brian, Destiny's on the phone. Will you answer? Is Destiny something? It's everything. Wow. Plagiarist. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Now, if you excuse me, I've got a universe to review. He said he was too old to start over. Yes. How old do you think he really is? Well, when the Pilgrims landed, the first thing they heard was, enjoy the show. Hi everyone, The Last Angry Geek here. I just thought I'd take a moment to talk to you. I hope you enjoyed our little skit about what could have happened if I'd succumbed to the pressures of the new DC Universe. Yes, it's true, there are going to be 52 brand new number one issues from DC Comics. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to review two comics each week. Uh, the comics come out next week, so the following week you'll see the week one reviews and so forth till early October. Week one, I'm going to review Action Comics number one, probably the most controversial of all because that'll be the Superman reboot one more day you know uh no more marriage no more friends what have you um week two that's going to be demon knights that's going to be the dark ages jla uh week three red hood and the outlaws which i think has just wonderful wonderful potential to be horrible and week four i'm going to review voodoo because i want to see how the wildstorm characters fit into the new dc universe um but what about the second title I review each week? Well, that's where you guys come in. For the first time ever on Comic Book Issues, I'm going to let the viewers choose which comics I review. How's this going to happen? Glad you asked. Starting today and going up until next Tuesday, Midnight Tuesday, that's when I'm going to cut it off, there's going to be a poll on the Comic Book Issues Facebook page. You just go there. I'll have a list of all the week ones, minus action comics. You pick the one you want. Whichever has the most votes, I will review. That simple. Then, once the comics come out on Wednesday, I'll have the week two poll go up until the Tuesday before week three, and so forth. Uh, so just go to the Comic Book Issues Facebook page. Uh, if you don't see the poll there, scroll down, because it's, you know how these things are. Commented things get moved up, while well, things without comments get moved down. I'll try and keep it towards the top of the page, but it's on there. I promise you it's on there. So it's viewer's choice. You get to choose which comics I review I'm going to be real busy with You Know Who, so I might cut out the little opening bits that I do. I know everyone's horribly, horribly disappointed. But uh, I think this is a chance for me to interact with the viewers in a really fun way. So I'm The Last Angry Geek, and I'll see you next time on Comic Book Issues. I'll be back in two weeks with my review of Action, Action Comics number one, and whichever viewer's choice comic book you choose from the first week's lineup of DC and you. Brian, the people need you more now than ever. Wow. First time. What a mess. Brian, the people need you and your mildly yet surprisingly informative views more now than ever. Almost not horrible. Almost not horrible. <sighs> Brian, the people need you and your mildly yet surprisingly informative views. Mildly amusing. Mildly. Brian, the people need you and your mildly... Yet surprisingly... Amusing, you stupid not. bastard! Brian, the people need you and your mildly amusing but surprisingly informative reviews more now than ever. Now more than ever. Brian, the people need you and your mildly amusing but yet surprisingly informative reviews 
now more than ever. Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful.